the Arabian Sea cuts into the Indian subcontinent by forming the Thana Creek, which isolates Mumbai from the mainland. It is Asia's largest creek with a length of 26 kilometers. Large swathes of mangroves border the Thana Creek and protect Mumbai's coastline from storm surges by acting as a dense physical barrier. In an era when climate change has become a reality, the ability of the mangrove forests to store three to five times more carbon than other tropical forests is extremely valuable. The mangrove forests of Thana Creek are a mix of various mangrove species, with each having distinct flowers, fruits and leaves and roots. These roots support the function of breathing in soils deficient of oxygen. The mangroves also help create a unique ecosystem of various species, ranging from tiny crabs to tall flamingos. Crabs play an ecologically important role in the mangrove ecosystem. They carry the leaf litter to their burrows which helps in nutrient recycling. The digging behavior of crabs enhances aeration and facilitates drainage of mangrove soil which helps in reducing the sulfides and ammonium concentrations. This helps in the growth of mangroves. Crabs are adapted to tidal fluctuations. During high tides and in monsoons, when their burrows are drowned, crabs climb up the trees and climb down when the water starts receding. Fiddler crabs are a joy to watch. These tiny crabs wave their long, outsized claws, or shelly pets, for courtship. As the sun rises, many birds flock to the mudflats to feed on crab larvae, juveniles and adults along with other crustaceans and fishes. Special adaptations allow mudskippers to breathe both in and above water. At the first sign of danger, they swiftly vanish into the mud. With the arrival of winter, flamingos and many other winter migrants flock to the Thana Creek. Over 205 species of birds have been recorded here, helping in its classification as an important bird area. During peak season, one can find over 150,000 waders engaged in feeding frenzy. As soon as they finish feeding in one part of the mudflats during low tides, they fly over to the next patch.
The unique upcurved beaks of the pied avocets make them easily distinguishable from other waders. Huge flocks of flamingos, sometimes numbering over 20,000, fill up large parts of the creek. They can often be found feeding in the mudflats during low tide. They take breaks from feeding to take rest by standing on one leg with one eye open. They also bathe in the water and can be seen meticulously preening their feathers. Not many cities can boast of such a magnificent sight of flamingos on the backdrop of the city skyline. The calls of many raptors and birds can be heard in the mangroves and the adjoining forests. If one closely observes the mangroves and adjacent forests, one can find that it is home to thousands of tiny creatures, many of them playing a big role in pollination. Insects devour leaves, and spiders play a big role in containing them. Some of these spiders are difficult to detect due to their excellent camouflage. They remain unnoticed until they decide to make a move. The skinks and lizards are in constant search for prey. The receding waters of the low tide can often spring surprise sightings, like this dog-faced water snake, engaged in hunting crustaceans with its body half hidden in the mud. With onset of high tide, the mudflats progressively get submerged and the waders move along the tide lines, feeding in the still exposed mudflats. The mangroves of Thana Creek 
also provide a soothing green lining to the concrete jungle of this metropolis. Unfortunately, this fragile ecosystem of Thana Creek is facing significant threats. Untreated sewage, plastics and other garbage increase the pollution load in the Thana Creek, thereby reducing the species diversity. Immersion of thousands of idols made of non-biodegradable material causes immense pollution. The idols show up for days together during low tide, uncared and unnoticed. Mangroves act as nursery for juvenile fish. Many local fishermen fish in the Thana Creek. However, the increased pollution level has reduced their catch, thereby affecting their livelihood. Urgent steps are needed to preserve the mangrove ecosystem of Thana Creek. The Maharashtra Forest Department has shown its resolve to protect it by declaring the northern part of Thana Creek as a wildlife sanctuary. The biodiversity of the creek ecosystem is a blessing of nature, and these jewels of Thana Creek need to be preserved for posterity.